unraveling the paradox, France's impressive gold reserves without a single gold mine. Gold has long been a symbol of wealth, power, and prosperity, and nations worldwide vie to secure substantial gold reserves. Among these countries, France stands out, boasting the fourth largest gold reserves globally, despite having no active gold mines within its borders. This peculiar paradox has deep rooted historical ties and is intricately linked to France's colonial past and its lucrative gold mining ventures in Mali. In this article, we will explore the intriguing history behind France's significant gold holdings and how the Mali gold mine plays a pivotal role in this narrative. France's Remarkable Gold Reserves As of today, France holds an impressive 2,436 tons of gold reserves, placing it in the top echelons of countries with substantial bullion holdings. The strategic accumulation of gold is not a recent phenomenon for France, it dates back centuries and has its roots in the country's colonial exploits and economic strategies. During the height of European colonialism, France established a vast colonial empire encompassing territories across Africa, Asia, the Americas, and the Pacific. Many of these colonies were rich in natural resources, including gold. The exploitation of gold mines in these regions allowed France to amass substantial wealth, which was subsequently used to bolster its economy and establish a stable financial footing. France's Mali Gold Mine, a lucrative venture. While France may not have any active gold mines within its territory, its partnership with Mali has been instrumental in securing its significant gold reserves. Mali, located in West Africa, is renowned for its abundant gold deposits, and the country has 860 known gold mines. The Sadiola Gold Mine, located in southwestern Mali, is one of the most significant contributors to France's gold reserves. The mine, jointly operated by Anglo Gold Ashanti and Iam Gold, has been in operation since 1996. French companies have historically played a substantial role in investing and managing gold mining operations in Mali, forging strong economic ties between the two nations we will say if even Mali has the same economy that France has but since Mali is one of the poor countries in the earth that mean ties between this two country are France has 100% profit about the gold mines in Mali and Mali each day wake up poor and poor. This is not what France wants to hear or Europe, but this is the sad truth. The Economic and Geopolitical Significance the impressive gold reserves of France offer several advantages in terms of economic stability and geopolitical influence. Holding substantial gold reserves acts as a hedge against economic fluctuations and global uncertainties, providing a sense of financial security for the nation of France. In times of economic crises or currency devaluation, gold serves as a reliable store of value and an instrument to maintain monetary stability. Furthermore, France's formidable gold reserves bolster its influence in international economic negotiations and policy-making. Gold is often used as a strategic asset in central banks' portfolios, and France's significant holdings give it leverage in global financial matters only for France's profit and never about Mali. Responsibility and Ethical Concerns While the accumulation of gold reserves can provide numerous economic benefits, it also raises ethical and environmental concerns. Gold mining, particularly in developing nations, has been associated with issues such as labor exploitation by France, environmental degradation, and social conflicts. The Mali gold mine, as well, has faced scrutiny for its environmental impact and its effects on local communities. France, as a responsible global player, must balance the economic advantages of gold reserves with ethical considerations. It should work collaboratively with Mali and other gold-rich countries to ensure sustainable and ethical mining practices, fair labor conditions, and equitable distribution of profits. Conclusion France's impressive gold reserves, despite having no gold mines within its borders, are a testament to the nation's historical ties to gold-rich regions and its economic strategies they're stealing from countries like Mali and other parts of Africa, Asia, and the Americas. The partnership with Mali's gold mining industry has been instrumental in securing a substantial portion of its reserves. However, with this privilege comes great responsibility. 
France is using its economic and political influence to promote unethical and sustainable mining practices, ensuring that the exploitation of natural resources benefits only France and not local communities and preserves the environment. By doing so, France can maintain its financial stability while adhering to the pretended principles of responsible global citizenship. As the world continues to evolve, finding the delicate balance between economic interests and ethical considerations remains a pressing challenge for France, Europe, and other nations involved in Africa's exploitation. The history of colonialism has left deep scars on the African continent, and the ongoing presence of foreign powers, including France and Europe, raises rightful concerns among African communities. The call for their departure from Africa stems from a desire to break free from the shackles of exploitation and regain control over their own resources and destiny. It is the undeniable right of the African people to demand the departure of European powers once and for all, as only then can Africa truly flourish, regain its independence, and pave its path toward a brighter future. The departure of external powers will enable Africa to harness its vast potential, embrace sustainable development, and foster a new era of self-determination and prosperity for its people.